Hi everyone, I'm Jacopo and I'm a 3D artist from Italy. In this video I will show you how to withdraw money from Fiverr. I am not a financial advisor so this is only my method I use to withdraw money from Fiverr so I'm not responsible if you want to try this. This video will be divided in three parts. The first one will be the withdraw from Fiverr to Pioneer account. The second will be moving the money from Pioneer to Revolut account for the currency change. The last one will be moving the money from Revolut to your bank account. At the end I will show you also another case when you change more than 1000 euros. So now let's start. In the last video I showed you why I don't like using PayPal for withdrawing because it has a high fee and if you didn't see the video I leave you the link here. First of all I created a Pioneer bank account with a USD currency. Now that is all set up I select bank transfer and I click on confirm and withdraw. Here it says that the money will be on my account within 7 business days but usually they arrive in a few minutes. After you log in to your Pioneer account you can see you have all the money inside and uh, we can click on the transaction and uh, the payment amount uh, is uh, what you withdraw from Fever. and uh, you have also a 3 US dollar this amount uh, is uh, the same for uh, every amount of money you withdraw from Fiverr so it's better for you to withdraw more money because uh, every time uh, you will lose uh, 3 dollars as you can see the process is uh, pretty fast even though the website uh, says that uh, it can take uh, 7 business days as you can see under the USD balance uh, I have uh, also a order card button and uh, this is because uh, if you have more than uh, $600 the website uh, let you order a physical or a virtual card. So now we click on order card and uh, here I can choose between a virtual card and uh, you don't need uh, to wait any time because uh, it will be available for you to use or uh, if you want uh, you can choose a physical card but um, you will have to pay for the delivery and uh, in this case uh, I don't want to wait so I and uh, also I don't use this card in, uh, in shops after I select uh, the card currency in USD because uh, we want this to be the currency the same as the Fever account as you can see if you want to withdraw the money to your bank directly on this uh, amount of money you have uh, 15 USD of a fee. After you do all the process to activate the card following the instruction on the website you're finally done and now you can see that uh, is available under your name but uh, as you can see there is still no money under it. That's because it can take some time but the money from your account will automatically move to the card. The money are available on your card now we can move to Revolut. As you can see here I insert all the detail of the card and uh, I had the money. As you can see it shows a fee of $10.44 but uh, when you add the money for the first time with a Mastercard is free. After you will pay a small fee of 1.14% circa. Now is the time for the currency change. For this simply I select the change I select uh, the exact amount of money that I moved uh, from the Pioneer account and uh, I select the currency that I want to change to and uh, in my case it's Euro. Also this step is uh, super fast as you can see. Here I don't pay any change commission because um, the amount of uh, money is less than 1000 Euro. After I will pay a 0.5% commission on the amount of money. Now it's time for the last step, moving the money from Revolut account to your bank account. This simply is done by selecting the send button and after accounts. I already added my IBAN so I simply select it and the amount of money that I want to send. So this is the method that I used to withdraw the money from my Fever account to my bank account. Now I show you another case when you have to withdraw more than $1000. So first of all, as you can see, it's always the same, the fever fee of $3. 
So now in my Pioneer account, uh, I have uh, $1,769. And uh, after, to add the money to my Revolut, uh, I spent uh, $23.62 in commissions. Because, um, as I said before, moving money from a MasterCard to Revolut account, uh, being an international uh, circuit, it will uh, ask you for a small fee of 1.14%. Um, uh, so now I have uh, $1,745.69 and uh, as you can see there is a line saying commission. That's because uh, with the free plan uh, you have a limit of change of uh, 1000 euro per month. So in this case the fee of 0.5% will be applied to the amount that exceeds the 1000 euro amount. In fact, if you calculate 1540.94 plus 2.72, it's 1543.66 euros. And minus 1000 euro, it's 543.66. Now, if you calculate the 0.5%, it's 2.72. So the commission you pay is only on this 543.66 euro. And you pay the commission directly with the money you are changing. If the next time in the same month you change other money, you will pay this fee of 0.5% on all the amount of money. But at the end, how much did I save with this method? We can see this for both cases. First one was $784.80 and with PayPal was €670.27 and what I withdrew at the end was €693.90 and that's €23.63 more with a change of 0 0.8875. Second one was $1772 and with PayPal €1513.27. 40 euro and uh, what uh, I withdrew at the end uh, was uh, 1540.94 euros so 27.54 euros more with a change of 0 0.8843 so if uh, we do the same change as before it will be pretty the same uh, 1546.56 now we can consider the situation where you have more money to withdraw, like $5,000 considering commissions on the whole amount of money. With the same PayPal change, it would be 4,270.32 euros. With my method, it would be 4,997 dollars after moving the money to Pioneer account because of the three dollars of ease. 4,948.19 dollars after moving the money to my Revolut account because of the 48.81 dollars of commission. As I said before, it's a Mastercard circuit. At the end, I would have 4,369.57 euros after a change commission of 21.95 euros. So in this case, what you get is 99.25 euros more than the PayPal method. So it's a 2% more. Thank you for watching. So I know that uh, this video was uh, full of numbers and uh, of maths, but I had to find out by myself uh, all this method. In the next video I will talk about the taxation in uh, my case for uh, Italy. So if you're Italian I think it could be interesting for you. So again, thanks for watching, ciao!